Welcome to Trigger King RC Monster Truck Racing, bracket number five of the season, event number three, sport modified action. Looking at the top three qualifying results, Aquabats. TMNT driven by Andy Salerno looking really strong on the J-Hook track. And our top qualifier, Aaron Janes in chain reaction. A quick blast down two straightaways, making it a nice short race. A quick blast, no time for mistakes as we get into it with the number 16 and 17 qualifiers. Equalizer, Chris Parrish and JB Scale Graphics, yeah. Chris Lane. Equalizer with a little bit of a jump. As we said, a quick blast, no time for mistakes, and Equalizer moves into round number two, where he'll be rewarded with the, facing the number one qualifier. Here we go with race number two of round number one, Black Pearl, the number eight qualifier, and Barefoot Racer, the number 25 qualifier. Oh, a great race, but by a tire, Black Pearl, Josh Rhodes moves to round number two. The brand new Austin 316 from Josh Rhodes with his LMT-based truck and the all-custom Monster Patrol in the far lane from Mike Bufka. The lights flashing all the way to victory and then up and over, but Bufka and Monster Patrol takes round one. Orange Fury 2, the number 20 qualifier, and Fred Kurz, the number 13 qualifier, the Punisher. Blank with Orange Fury takes the win. That first obstacle on this J-hook track, very tricky. Drivers have to think about how they're approaching that. They can't just bonds eye the track as West Virginia Mountaineer and Big A's Wrecking back on the track right now. Cheech, a uh, gosh, back with the series and taking his first win. King Kong, Chris Lane and Road Hog, Aaron James. Kong wild in the far lane, still in the race looking good. A nice run from King Kong, Chris Lane gets it done. Buffalo Trimmer and Grave Digger. Newcomer Greg Coffey in the far lane with the Grave Digger. Veteran Jeremy Mark with Buffalo Trimmer in the near lane. Trimmer out to the lead, a nice little wheelie. Oh, Mark known for some beautiful trucks and so it hurts every time to see it crash. Another Kong truck on the track. Troy Haas this time in awesome Kong and El Toro Loco Zombie from Chris Hackinson. Hackinson you see in the far lane, set and ready. Looking to drive to victory. He's off to a lead. Haas is charging. El Toro Loco gets it done. Orange Thunder 2. Chris Blank back on the line. And Batman Troy Haas back on the line. Both drivers already seen the track with another truck. What will they learn from it? Oh! Haas loses the GPS coordinates and Blank takes the victory. Drivers ready. Getting Watch down towards the end of round one, it's Pink El Toro Loco. We call it Pink Alicious in the far lane. In sudden impact, and it is all Pink Alicious. Our final pair in round number one, Snakebite and Predator. 
an all new truck for Agash in the far lane, but up and over, handing the win to Michael Spurlock in snake fight. Moving into okay. round number two action. The first time we'll see Iron Aaron James with the chain reaction truck, our top qualifier, facing off against number 16 equalizer, Chris Parrish. It's a tight race. Parrish by a truck and a half at the finish line, knocks off the number one qualifier. That'll shake up the bracket a little bit. We'll see how it develops through the rest of the field. Right now, it's Black Pearl and Monster Patrol. The number eight and the number 24. Pearl with the jump. A little squirrely in no man's land there. Bufka making up huge ground. And Black Pearl crossing the center line and making contra contact with the competitor instantly hands the win to Bufka and Monster Patrol. Michael Spurlock in Iron Outlaw in the far lane. And Orange Fury 2 in the near lane, Chris Blank. Blank looking smooth and stable on this track. He's gonna be a contender today. Taurus 3, the number five, and the West Virginia Mountaineer, Dana Gosh in the far lane. A gosh with a huge leap off the line. Mark, maybe some issues. He missed the tabletop obstacle on the final straightaway, and the win goes to Mountaineer. King Kong and TMNT. A big wheelie for King Kong. Oh, and TMNT out of shape. Lane takes the win with the Kong. Seizure, seizure. Buffalo Tremor and El Toro Loco Zombie. The number seven and the number 10 matchup. This could be a good one. El Toro with a little bit of a leap. And the whole shot gets it done. Zombie Loco taking the win. Drivers ready. Watch the light. Orange Thunder 2. And the first time we're seeing Aquabats, the number three qualifier. Aquabats out of shape, compensating, but then trying to get it back together upside down and over hitting a turn marker. Blank moves on yet again with the Orange Thunder. You heard it from our trackside announcer, Horns versus Fangs, Snakebite, El Toro, now. A rough landing for Pinkalicious in the far lane, but he makes up ground, and he holds off a charging snake at the finish line. Going to round number three, Equalizer and Monster Patrol. Pretty close, Equalizer out of shape in no man's land. It's tight to the finish. Wow, what a charge down the final straightaway. Narrowly, Equalizer moves to the semi-final round. Orange Fury 2, Blank's been looking good out there. And West Virginia Mountaineer, Cheech with a solid day in the far lane. Wow, what a drag race. Holy smokes, we're going to the TK replay to take a look at this one. Blank charging to the tabletop. Both trucks on the ground at about the same time. But Cheech with a charge in the far lane, closing the gap to the finish line. Wow, we've got a tie. We're gonna run them again. Incredible action in round number three. Here we go with the re-race, re-rack them, get them back on the line, and here we go.
Cheech had the lead to the final corner and then Blank closes the gap and goes to victory, moving on to the semifinals where he'll meet Equalizer. King Kong, Chris Lane, and El Toro Loco Zombie, Chris Hackinson. Lane with a bonsai jump over the tabletop, but not quite enough to get it done as Zombie wins. Hackinson right back up on the line with Pinkalicious El Toro Loco and Orange Thunder to Chris Blank, who's been looking really good today. Blank with issues though. And Pinkalicious moves to the semifinals. Hackinson owning the bottom side of the semifinals bracket. So we'll see a Hackinson truck in the finals, but who's he going to face? The number 16 equalizer or the number 20 Orange Fury 2. Blanks look really strong. Parrish has come from the bottom of the field. Oh no, upset. It was neck and neck. And a wheel comes off of Equalizer, sending the truck upside down and over, handing the win to Orange Fury. In the other side, Zombie Loco defeats Pink Loco, and Hackinson heads to the finals, where he'll have lane choice over Blank, El Toro Zombie, and Orange Fury 2. Driver's ready. Watch the lights. Oh, Zombie in trouble. Crosses the line, contacts the other truck, and Chris Blank in Orange Fury 2 has taken his first racing bracket victory in a very long time. Congratulations to Blank. He looked awesome out there today. Getting it done. We've got more action coming up with bracket number six of the season next time out. We'll see if Blank can back up this victory and perhaps take the overall victory championship for the day at event number three. Right now, taking a look at the point standing for the season with the drop included, Equalizer and Xbox tied at the top with Destination and El Toro Loco near behind. We've got lots more action coming to you from event number three. Stay tuned next time for bracket number six of action. As we swap things up a little bit, we'll see you then.